All right, hello and welcome to part two, uh, where we are coding a neural network from scratch using Python. Um, in the last uh, part one, we created our helper functions, our sigmoid and our feed forward function. Um, so in this episode, uh, part two, we're going to, let's start, let's start actually writing the main program. All right, so I have our code up here on the screen. There are our helper functions. So we're gonna come down below here and we'll just put a comment in here, a uh, main program, we'll call that. Okay. Now, um, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to import our data, right? Now, this this neural network needs to train. It needs data to train. So let's go ahead and, and import our data. Um, so we'll need a variable here. We'll call it um, data file path. And we'll just set that to something for now. We'll just call it data.txt because it's going to have, it may have backslashes in it because it's a file path. We'll need that. Um, okay, so that's going to be where our data is. And we'll, we'll create that later uh, to, when, we, when we eventually test this out. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to need is um, let's create a list to define the layers of our neural network. So we'll just call this neural network layers. We'll make that a list. So now what this is going to be is, oh, let me open up our uh, neural network here, di my diagram. Okay, so put this on the screen. So neural network layers, this is going to be these right here, this set of neurons here. This, that, oops, that, and that, right? So this, so for this, we'll use three layers, okay? So our input layer. Well, let's just say, and, and, and this will be, this part, the number of neurons in each layer will be dynamic, right? So let's say our data set has, I don't know, three. Actually, let's follow, let's do the exact diagram. So it's two in the input layer, two in the hidden layer, and then one in the output layer. So we'll do that. So it's a three layer. Well, it's actually a two layer because only the hidden layer and the output layer count as layers. Um, but for a list, we'll, we'll need three values there. So we'll do two. That's our input layer. Two again, that's our hidden layer. And one, that's our output layer. Okay, so that's what that represents. Um, okay, next variable we'll need is the learning rate. Um, we'll set this to 0 0.001. Now the learning rate, that is kind of how fast and how carefully our um, neural network's gonna learn. Uh, so this is important for during gradient descent when we are attempting to minimize, if you saw my neural networking series, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. When we attempt to minimize our error, right, and bring that as close to zero as we can get, um, that's, that's how fast we go down that, that slope. That's how fast we reduce that error. Now, if you're thinking, well, why don't we just make it really big so it reduces really fast so it trains quicker? Well, the problem with that is if you make this value too high, Yes, the, ne the network will train faster, but the problem is it may overshoot zero and the error may start to climb the other direction. So, you know, your error may, may, sh may go down very quickly, but then all of a sudden you'll see it start to go up very quickly. And that's because you overshot zero or you overshot the optimal point because you were taking your steps you were taking were too big. Um, so that's, that's, that's learning rate. Um, now the other variable we'll need here is Num number of epochs, and we'll set this to, I don't know, 50. Now, number of epochs, what is that? An epoch is one iteration over your entire training set. So let's say you have uh, a, tra a training data set with 100 examples in there, right? As you train over those hundred examples, when you, each time you go through each every example, so each time you go through every one of the hundred examples, that is one epoch, uh, and you have to do. And each time you do that, with each epoch, you update the weights, and then you try it again, and then you do it again and again. Um, so you, the epochs is is each iteration over your entire data set. So we'll just set that to fifty for now. Uh, but th this is something that yeah, you're honestly going to play with. Uh, to try to find the right number. Um, okay, so next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to load 
data. We need to load our data set. Okay. This is where um, the library we imported up here, pandas, comes into play. This is a great library for importing, working with data, right? Flat files, whatever. So to do that, we'll call this. Um, we'll just call this data set for now. Okay. Equals pd dot read csv this is how easy it makes it is already a function to do this so we're so our file is going to be a csv file which is comma separated right so it may look something like this right one comma two comma three right and then another row two comma three comma four right four comma five comma six right that's a csv file comma separated all the values all the columns are separated by comma okay and then we want to read the variable up here our data file path we'll come down paste that in there okay now the next thing we want to do is remember our a, tra a training data set contains examples right so those examples contain all the values that you want to use to make your prediction and it contains the answers right so we know so we so we we can train this network right so we have to initially we have to give it the answers, right? So all that's going to be in that data set, right? Not only the data you're going to use to make your predictions, but also the answers, right? Hence why they're called examples, because um, we're, we're hoping the hope is that by training based on by giving it the, some examples, right, with the answers, the hope is that we'll we will end up with a model that we can then use to make predictions. Uh, on other data without the answers, right? So the model can do the, the hard work and, and answer it, uh, you know, label the data. All right, so we're going to call it, so the, data, the, the columns or the data that you use to make the prediction is called features, right? So we're going to call this our feature columns, okay? And that equals, so let's just say, so we said they're going to be, we said two, right? Our input data, we said there's two, so that means there's going to be two columns. So let's just say this is these are going to be the column names that are going to be in the file. Um, so for now, we'll just call this x1, comma, x, x2. And depending on the file we end up using, we may change this, you know, or, or you know, or what have you. But for now, these are going to be our feature columns. Now, the answer column, right? So we'll call it answer. It's usually called y. And we'll just call it Y, right? So that's that's telling the data set, hey, these columns are my features, and this column is the label or the answers. Okay. Now we have to actually set those to um, to a variable. So we'll assign X equals um, data set. This is where we're going to actually pull the values into our program, right? Data set, um, oh, and then give it the columns, feature columns. Y equals data set, and then Y call. Okay. Now, if we wanted to print, sometimes I like to print, um, like the first couple of rows of the data, just so I can see it, see that the data is importing properly and see what it kind of looks like. Um, so that's simple with pandas. We'll just do print, simple print statement, and we'll do x dot head, and then print y dot head, right? So okay. So now we've got our data loaded here and some variables defined. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we have to initial randomly initialize initialize our weights. Right? Those are the values that we're going to be updating. Um in our network. Okay, so we'll, call, we'll just put a comment here, initialize weights. Okay. So let's define our weights. Um, so what do we need here? Okay. So we essentially need one set of weights. Oh, let me do this. Okay. 
So let's talk through this. We need one set of weights here, right? Our tensors. And we need another set of weights here, right? So we'll call this, we'll just call this W1 equals MP dot random dot rand. And how many, this is where we're going to initialize this. So this is going to end up being kind of like a, a, a matrix, really, which is kind of like a, a multidimensional array, right? Those of you who have worked with arrays. Um, but NumPy is going to be, you're going to be using that a lot in machine learning. So if you don't already understand that, I would suggest looking up some videos on that or, or what have you uh, to, to really understand that. It's, it's, it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty simple. Um, okay. So let's define the structure, right? So what we're going to need to do is we know, yeah, let's go back to the diagram. Okay. So with this first set of weights, we know we need, um, we have two input layers and two in our hidden layer, right? And each tensor is connected. So that's one, two, three, there's going to be four weight values, right? That's two, two or two per neuron in our hidden layer, okay? So it's going to be something like this because remember, we have to calculate, let's say we're doing the first neuron, right? We have to calculate Z. So that would be, let's say what our first neuron is 10, 10 times our first weight of 0.25 plus 5 times our second weight of 0.15, right? And then plus our bias, but, okay? So, so that shape is going to be um, NN layers 1, right? So the number of rows... This is going to be our rows, right? Because we want to remember, we're going to want to loop through this too. So, so we're going to need these. Each of these nodes in our hidden layer is going to be our rows in the matrix, and the weights is going to be the columns of the matrix, right? So think of this like, um, right? Because then, so think of this. Let me let me let me see if I can make it easier, right? So think of this as this weight or this column one, this column two. Right, or the weight you can think of as the column, but this is how the multiplication is going to take place in, as, as columns, right? So, and then, so that's for the first node, and then there would be another, let me, let me draw this down here, hopefully this is making sense, right? So then it would be 10 times our third weight of 0.5 plus 5 times our fourth weight of 0.3, right? And that's row 2, right? So this belongs to the first node. And then the second one belongs to the second node, okay? So then the rows are going to be each node, which is defined in our NN layers right here. So the, it's the, the first one is zero index, so we need the second one, which is going to be one. First index, so that's going to be two, okay? So that's comma. That's going to be how many rows. Now how many columns do we need? Well, it's based on our input layer. So NN layers, comma, zero. Great. So that's our first set of weights. Um, and our bias, we'll call this V1, mp dot random dot. Uh, actually, you don't need to randomly initialize the bias. You can just do it as zeros. That's fine. Um, oh, you know what? Did I make a mistake? No. Yeah, you're good. Okay, let's see. Um, so this is just going to be, and in layers, it's just one per. It's just it's just depending on how many nodes you have in the hidden layer, really. So that's all we need. So it's just going to be one. And then it's going to be comma one. You just hard code the one in there. That's it. All right. So now we did our first set of weights and bias. Now the next thing we need, let's clear this out, is our second set of weights. Actually, let's use a different color. Right, right here. So come down here. W2 equals mp.random dot rand now again 
this is the same thing. Our rows is going to be our next layer. Let's make this thicker, which is here. So we need one row, right? But but that's defined in our, our layers uh, variable. And then our columns is going to be the previous layer. So two columns. But again, this is all defined, and this is why we created this layers. It's all defined here. Okay, so we need NN layers. What do you think this is? Two, right? The last layer by NN layers. One, previous layer. Right? Rows and columns. And then our bias, so we'll just call this B2 empty dot zeros this will create a, an array with just set and set all the values to zero um, and this is going to be yeah just mp and n sorry layers two right our last layer and hard coded as column just one column right because the bias just gets added on to the end it's just one value so okay so let's take a look what do we got uh, and so actually, you know what? I like to print. Print w1. Print w2. And let's just, just so it looks nice, let's print some strings here. So this is um, uh, w1 initialized weights. Two initialized weights. Oops. Okay, great. So let's do this here too. So it doesn't look like random text on a screen and it makes it easier to read. All right, so this is going to be features X. And then labels y. Okay, great. That's good enough. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, great. So now we've created our variables, imported our data, imported our features, our labels, randomly initialized our weights. All right. So I think we'll stop it here. Um, and then in the next video, we'll start getting into really some more, uh, really some more of the mechanics of this. Um, so that, sh that should be pretty, pretty interesting, pretty fun. Um, so, all right, great. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.